Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make this baby blanket here. It's not really a hard blanket. You can see. It turned out very pretty with this color yarn. Now it is a smaller blanket, uh, like a newborn size blanket, but you can make it big, bigger if you want. It measures approximately 28 inches by 32 inches. But I'll give you the multiple in case you want to make it uh, bigger. Um, I did not put an edge on it, as you can see. If you choose to put a, you can always do a single crochet edge or you could put some type of fancy edge on it. I just left it alone. I thought it looked just fine the way that it was. So um, I'm just leaving it like that. So it's a pretty easy blanket. I think it'd be great for a beginner as long as you know how to do the basic stitches. So it's just chain, single, and double. If you got that down, You'll be able to make this beautiful blanket so let's go ahead and get started on it okay for this project i am using caron skinny cakes now these are available only at michael's i bought mine online at michael's i'm not sure if they're in stores or not you do not have to use this yarn though um, but what it is, it is a lightweight number three, and it is a very lightweight number three. It's very similar to Mandela yarn. And it is a 100% acrylic yarn. There's 8.8 .8 ounces and 795 yards. I used every bit of one cake. There was probably like a foot left. So you're going to need about 795 yards. And if you want to make it bigger, you'll need, of course, you're going to need more. The color I use is called Rainbow. Remember, you don't have to use this. Any lightweight three yarn will work. Any four weight yarn will work. Um, it'll just, if you use a four weight, it'll just make it your blanket a little bit bigger. Okay, and then I'm going to be using a size H, which is a five millimeter crochet hook. And again, if you choose, if you want to make your uh, blanket a little bit bigger, you can always use a bigger hook, like an I uh, or a J, will make your project a little bit bigger. Otherwise, I use the uh, five millimeter, size H. So this stitch is done in a multiple of four plus two, which means your chain, beginning chain, needs to be divisible by four, and then you add two more to it. So following along with me, I started out with a chain of 150 stitches. I'm going to show you on a smaller scale. But once you get your chain of 150 stitches, or uh, your chain of 150 done, what we're going to do is put a single crochet in the second stitch from the hook. Remember, we don't count the one that's on our hook. So you single crochet in the second stitch. Now we're going to start the repeat of row one by doing a chain of three. One, two, three. And now we're going to skip three. One, two, three, and single crochet into the next. And that's what we're going to repeat for the whole row one. So again, we're going to chain three. One, two, three, skip three. One, two, three three and single into the next again chain three one two three skip three one two three and single into the next and we're going to repeat this pattern until we get to the end of row one chain three skip three single into the next chain three, skip three, and single into the next. So go ahead and repeat that until you get to the end of your row. All right, once you make it to the end, you should have four stitches left there. So we're just going to finish out our repeat by chaining three, skipping three, and single crocheting into the last stitch. And you should have a total now, now at the end of row one, of 37 of these chain three spaces. Okay, and now we're gonna start row two. Now row twos and three are the repeat rows for the whole blanket. 
So row two, we are going to chain one and turn our work. And now we are going to put a double crochet into that very, very first stitch right there. The very first one. We're going to go ahead and double crochet right into that. Just like that. And now we're going to put three double crochets right through this next chain three space. So go right through it and work three doubles. So there's one, two, and three. And now we are going to start the repeat. And what we're going to do is we're just going to skip this single crochet right here. And we're going to put three double crochets into this chain space right here. So the next chain space gets three double crochets. Again. Skip this single crochet and into the next chain space, three double crochets. And that's what we're going to repeat until we get to the end of row two. We're just basically putting three double crochets in each of the chain three, three spaces from the previous round. Again, skip that single and three into the next. And we're going to do this until we get to the end of the row. Okay, when you come to the end, I put three double crochets into that last chain space, and now I'm going to end row two by putting a double crochet into the last stitch. Now, what you'll have at the end of row two is you'll have 37 sets of three double crochet. 37 sets, and then you'll have one double crochet on each end. So row three, what we're gonna do is chain one and turn our work. And we're gonna put a single crochet into this very first stitch here, very first double crochet. Now we're going to start our repeat by chaining three. And we are going to skip three stitches. So we're skipping these three doubles. And we are going to single crochet in this space right here between these two sets of three double crochet. So I'm going right in between here and I'm going to put a single crochet. Again, I'm going to chain three. I'm going to skip three and single crochet in that space between these two sets of three double crochet. So I'm skipping these three and then right here in this space, single crochet. Again, chain three, skip three, and single crochet right here in this space. And this is what we're going to repeat until we get to the end of the row. Chain three, skip these three, and single crochet right here into this space between the two sets of three double crochets. And I'm going to repeat that pattern until I get to the end of the row. Alrighty, I'm coming to the end. I just did my last single crochet in between these set last two sets of three double crochet so I'm going to chain three and single crochet into the top of that very last stitch from the previous row and at the end of round or row three you'll have 37 chain spaces again so now what we're going to do is this we're going to keep repeating rows two and three until we get it the length that we want it to be so for row four, we're just going to repeat what we did on row two. That's where we chain one and we turn. And we put a double crochet into the very first stitch. And then we work three double crochets in the chain, chain three space. And we work three double crochets into every chain three space until we get to the end of the row. 
it's a pretty easy pattern once you get the hang of it you always skip that single crochet and go to the chain space and work three double crochets and when you get to the end you'll have 37 sets of three double crochet so I'm just going to repeat rows two and three one row you make the chain spaces and one row you do the double crochet sets and I'm going to keep repeating rows two and three like I said until I get the blanket as wide as I want it to be or as tall as I want it to be all right I have done a total of 90 rows so I ended in a row of where I did the double crochets and then I tied off um, as I said in the beginning I'm not going to go around the edges and put any type of border on it you definitely can if you want if you want to do a single crochet border all around that would be fine any type of fancy border if you knew of any I think I'm just gonna leave my plane since it's so colorful the yarn that I the yarn that I chose has so much going for it that I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do any special fancy edge I'm just gonna leave it the way it is because I think the yarn since me using the rainbow yarn is just it's uh, plenty busy so having this to plain edge is fine with me but remember you can choose any type of edge that you want or you can leave it plain just like me and that is it that's all there is to it i think their colors are really pretty i think it turned out really nice so if you make this or anything else from any of my tutorials remember to check them out i have over 600 of them um, hundreds of them um, you can always post a picture on my Facebook page I'd really really love to see it um, there's a link to that below in the description box also don't forget to hit me up on Instagram I do post different pictures and stuff on there sometimes of what's going on and if you are interested in any more baby blankets if you look over there to the right hand side of the screen right now um, I'm gonna put a playlist there of all my other baby blankets in case you maybe want to take a peek at that maybe you'll find another one that you're interested in and want to make so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and as always please don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any videos that i put on thanks everybody for watching have a good day